The Adidas Predator might be the most iconic football boot of all time. And for its 30th anniversary, the Predator Elite has gone back to its roots with a classic design. But how much has actually changed with this new model, and is it something that should be on your radar? Well, in this video, we're going to cover all the new features of the Predator Elite to determine if it's the right fit for you. And if you are interested in picking up a pair after watching the video, I'll leave links below where you can find it at a discount. Well, to start off with the design, I love the look of these boots. Honestly, for me, this might be one of the best looking Predators I've seen in years. It definitely makes me think of some of the older Predator models from like 10 to 15 years ago, just like the classic Predator Precision. I was a little bit skeptical of this launch colorway when I first saw it in pictures. I think it's called Solar Red to be specific but once I got these boots in person, I think the color actually looks amazing. It contrasts really well with the black accents, and I think it just stands out beautifully. And hopefully in the coming weeks and months, we're going to get some new colorways. I'm hoping for an all black colorway as well as a white and gold colorway. Then as far as the upper is concerned, Adidas have brought their new Hyper Touch 2.0 material. And that new Hyper Touch is going to be relatively soft throughout, but it also has a definite thickness to it. So this upper isn't going to be nearly as thin as something that you would get on Adidas's other model like the Crazy Fast. And some players may like that because that means that this Predator is going to offer a little bit more protection than some other boots you could get on the market. Not that I would ever want to get stepped on on the field, but if I was to get stepped on, I'd probably rather be wearing a pair of these. Then maybe one of the most important things about the boot is going to be the strike skin grip elements on the inside of the foot. Now these grip elements have always been a really big feature of the Predator series, and I think that they're pretty well executed in this new Elite model. Instead of the smaller individual rubber elements that you had on last year's Predator Accuracy, the new Predator Elite almost has these fins throughout the side of the boot. And these small rubber strips actually stick out a lot, and they're going to provide a lot of additional traction on the ball. And Adidas have only added those grip elements on the instep of the boot, and I think where they're coming from is that that's going to be where they're most helpful. And then on the outside of the boot, you're going to have the iconic three stripes of Adidas, and then kind of a matte ridge texture. It's a lot more subtle than the rubber elements that are on the instep of the boot, but it should still give you a decent amount of traction. Moving on to the ankle of the new Predators, you're going to have a really small amount of prime knit just around the collar here that's going to immediately give way on the inside to a really soft heel liner. And in my opinion, I think the heel liners is one of the things that Adidas does best in all of their boots. You essentially are going to get these two really plush pillow-like materials on the inside of the ankle. They're going to help with break in time and reduce any blisters you could get around your heel. And then of course we have to talk about the lacing system, which is also going to be a big change from last year's model. Because instead of having a one-piece upper with prime knit running all throughout the center of the boot, you're actually going to have a standalone tongue with the new Predator Elite. So essentially making that switch from a one-piece upper to a more traditional lacing system, what that means is that these boots are going to have a little bit more of an open fit and feel, and they're going to have more adjustability with the lacing system. But even that traditional lacing system on the Predator Elite is a little bit special because instead of a traditional U-throat design, it's actually going to have a V-shape here that tapers all the way up to the toe box. But for me, one of the biggest benefits about this lacing system is that it's going to make the boots really easy to take on and off. Moving on to the back of the boot, we're also going to have a new sole plate, and that's going to be called the Control Frame 2.0. Now, Adidas didn't really do anything too crazy with this new sole plate. We're essentially seeing the removal of those diamond-shaped studs that were on the previous year's model, and the implementation of these more tri-star-shaped studs. They're pretty sharp and aggressive, and they're going to be great for use on firm ground surfaces. And then the sole plate itself is going to be extremely rigid through both the heel and midfoot and just have a little bit of snap towards the toe box. They did get rid of the weighted element that was in the toe box from the previous version, and I actually think that's a welcome change because to me that always felt just a little bit gimmicky. And overall, I like the sole plate. I think it's simple, not trying to do too much, but it still gives you a lot of traction. Now let's talk about the fit and feel of these new boots. Now the first thing I noticed when trying on these boots for the first time was that they do have a little bit of heft to them, and I think personally that's just because I've been so used to trying on more minimal boots over the past couple months. But that being said, just because the upper is a little bit thicker doesn't mean they're not still really comfortable. Because after I undid the lacing system and got my foot in, I thought that these felt really good. Now I did notice that you are going to get a lot of width through the midfoot compared to a lot of the other boots on the Adidas lineup. So the Copa Pure 2 and the X Crazy Fast are going to feel really tight in the center of the foot, almost like they're hugging you tightly, whereas with the Predator Elite, you're going to have more adjustability in that area, so if you want to feel like there's a little bit more space in the midfoot, you can just do the lacing system a little bit looser towards that area, and you just get a little bit more roomy, comfortable feel. And for me, that's something I prefer, just because I don't always like to feel like my football boots are like suffocating my feet. Now, while you do get a lot of volume through the midfoot, the boots do taper pretty aggressively towards the toe box. 
And while the boots are still comfortable overall, I think Adidas could maybe learn a thing from New Balance, who I think have a little bit more of a comfortable and anatomically shaped toe box. But because of that more open traditional lacing system that you get with the new elites, I think most people and most foot shapes aren't gonna struggle getting a good fit out of these boots. Now I went true to size with these in my normal 10 and a half and the length was perfect. So if you are interested in picking up a pair, I'd recommend doing the same and going true to size. And the only last note I'll say is that putting on these boots did almost feel like jumping into a time machine because it's not every day that you get to try on boots with this traditional lacing system because almost everything now has that sock-like one piece upper that's really stretchy, whereas this did kind of feel like putting on a Predator from 10 years ago. Now let's talk about what these boots were actually like to play in. Well, I think it's important to note off the bat that these are going to feel different than the Copa Pier 2 and the Adidas Crazy Fast by a pretty wide margin, because both of those boots are going to feel thinner and give you a closer touch on the ball. Whereas the new Predator Elite is kind of like a tank, but definitely in a good way. They're just gonna have a lot more substance to them overall. And I think some players are gonna really like that, while others might prefer something more thin. But most importantly, let's talk about the grip on the strike skin and whether or not those rubber elements actually make a difference. And for me, I felt the biggest difference was actually with dribbling the ball. It's definitely gonna add a noticeable stickiness to your touch on the ball. And although it did take a few minutes to get used to, overall I did like it. Then when it came to shooting, I did do my best to get a few curled shots over at the goal. And after trying to really analyze what the differences were with the strike skin versus a boot that maybe had a more matte finish or like a leather football boot, overall, I think you can get maybe a little more of a handle on the ball with the rubber strike skin element compared to something like a leather football boot. But I'll still say it comes down to about 80 to 90% just how you're gonna hit the ball and your individual technique and then about 10% maybe to the boots. But I will say, I think Adidas was able to put the grip elements in the most important place because they got them exactly in the sweet spot where you're gonna be hitting the ball on curved shots and long balls. Then as far as the sole plate is concerned, I felt really happy with it. I didn't notice any slipping on the pitch whatsoever. That being said, I do wish that Adidas just offered another version of this model with an AG sole plate with all conical studs because I think it'd be a little bit more appropriate for use on artificial grass. But overall, these boots were very fun to play in. And now let's quickly talk about the value of these football boots. So the Predator Elite is going to come in at $260 for the laced version that you see here. And if you're interested in a laceless version of these boots, those are also going to come in at about the same price of $260. Then if you're interested in the fold over tongue version that's even more retro with the design, that's gonna come in at $280. Now don't get me wrong, while these are great boots, that is a lot of money. But in the coming weeks and months, I think you should see some of these models and some different colorways be going on sale. Then as far as competitors are concerned, I think there's two major boots that stand in opposition to the Predator Elite, and that's gonna be the Phantom GX from Nike, as well as the Tequila V4 Pro Low Edition from New Balance. Now those are two great football boots that are also gonna have a lot of protection and they're gonna give you more grip on the ball. And now personally, of those three football boots, the Tequila V4s do fit me the best, but in your situation, you might find another model more comfortable. But it's also important to keep in mind that the Phantom GX and the Tequila V4 are gonna be sock-like knit one-piece upper boots, whereas the Predator Elite here is gonna have that more traditional design with the open lacing system. And in that sense, it does help it stand out from the crowd. So if you want a football boot with this kind of adjustability and feature set, it's one of a kind. So what are my final thoughts on the new Predator Elite from Adidas? Well, I think the reason these boots were made in the first place was to bring back the nostalgia of the classic Predators in a new modern package. And I think if that was the goal, Adidas executed on it very well. And if you're a fan of previous Predator models, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all if you get these. And that is going to just about do it for this review. Let me know in the comments below if you've gotten the chance to try on the new Predators and what you think of them. Also, let me know if there's any other boots you're interested in me reviewing next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.